These days, there is one on every street corner, in every business, watching our every move. Closed circuit television cameras. It's no wonder that some of the most well-known, sometimes scariest final moments are caught on them. People replay them over and over, picking out any detail they think might be relevant, becoming mini-detectives themselves. Here, we will explore three mysterious cases. Although all three of these cases remain unsolved, their video footage is some of the most watched to this day. Jackie Sutton Only positive things can be said about British activist Jackie Sutton. She was described as warm and fearless by the people who knew her best. After spending some time in the journalism field, she pursued a career with the Institute of War and Peace Reporting. Here she took the dangerous job of lead Iraq director. In what became a passion, she found herself helping those facing intense crisis find their voice when no one else was doing so. Though the job was tough, Jackie lived for it. She was especially dedicated to advocating for women's rights. On the 18th of October 2015, the 50-year-old journalist found herself at Ataturk Airport in Istanbul, Turkey. She was set to catch a midnight plane to Erbil, Iraq. She arrived at around 10pm. According to CCTV footage, Jackie ordered one beer and, over the course of an hour, slowly drank it as she read a book. Jackie then sat in the waiting area and subsequently fell asleep. At 12.15, Jackie's plane took off without her. Fifteen minutes later, Jackie woke and headed for her departure gate, which was already sealed. With the next flight to Erbil 12 hours away, Jackie was faced with having to purchase a new ticket. An employee later claimed that Jackie did not have the money to cover it. A friend who knew Jackie stated that it wouldn't have faced her to miss a flight. She would have gladly used it as an excuse to have a night on the town in Istanbul. A member of Jackie's team also confirmed their company would have paid for the new ticket. If those things were the case, what happened next seems out of place. After leaving the inquiry desk, Jackie went to the restroom. Camera footage shows women coming and going without incident for 10 minutes. Everything seemed normal. That was until three women entered and immediately fled to find help. Inside a bathroom stall, Jackie was found hanged. It seemed from the get-go that this was an apparent suicide. Jackie's family and colleagues were quick to dismiss the claims of suicide, claiming her line of work would have afforded her many enemies. Her job put her straight into war zones. Her coverage of Iraq would have drawn the attention of ISIS. Furthermore, her predecessor at the Institute of War and Peace Reporting was killed in a car bombing. This incident didn't faze her. It only made her more tenacious. A former roommate commented that Jackie was not quick to stress, and something as simple as a missed flight would not have caused her to kill herself. Another piece of conflicting evidence was that Jackie had thousands of euros with her, more than enough to cover a replacement ticket. Inside her suitcase, there were gifts, including two bottles of wine she had promised a friend, nothing to indicate she did not intend to return. Jackie's death remains classified as a suicide, though many still choose not to believe it. Ivona Visorek It was the 17th of July 2010 in Spot, Poland. In the early morning light, 19-year-old Ivona Visorek makes a final call to her friend Adria. Earlier that night, the girls were out celebrating their completion of high school attending a party not far from their home. Adria convinced Avona to leave and to continue their partying at a nearby nightclub, Dream Club. Not long after midnight, they arrived at the club, along with three of Adria's male friends, Paul, Adrian and Mark. After an argument with the men, Ivona stormed out, determined to walk the almost four miles home. Texts from her phone indicate she was angry her friend did not follow her out of the club after the argument. There were several calls made to Adria. The last one occurred at around 4am, in which Adria had apologised for the incident at the club. Ivona confessed she wasn't in a state to be seen at home, still drunk from all the partying. Adria informed Ivona she would leave her keys outside of her apartment if she wanted to come to stay with her. CCTV easily tracked Ivona's path, 
having been seen on several different cameras. Barefoot and alone, she headed towards the neighborhood that she and Adria lived in. Needless to say, Ivona never arrived. Later that day, after awakening and finding her keys where she had left them, Adria contacted Ivona's family to check that she had made it home. Although she was reported missing, authorities claimed Ivona was capable enough to make it home and could have stayed at another friend's house. It was a week before the disappearance of Ivona was taken seriously. During the last few seconds of the video captured of Ivona, a man was seen walking behind her. He was possibly the last known person to see her alive. Even though his picture and sketches were widely circulated, no one ever stepped forward claiming to be the man. And he was never identified. In 2014, Adria and one of the men from the club were interviewed regarding the disappearance. Although both of them corroborated the time Ivona left the club, neither of them could maintain eye contact with the camera. And though they seemed to remember the time of her leaving, not one of them could remember what the argument was about. This strange behaviour has led some to believe that perhaps Adria and the men know more about her disappearance than they were telling. In Poland, Ivona's disappearance has not faded away. Some 12,000 pages on a forum remain active searching for Ivona, sharing pictures of her and asking for someone to step forward. Some fear she has been sold into human trafficking. Even with hundreds of people from the area interviewed, no sign of Ivona has ever turned up. Lars Mittank Lars Mittank's last minutes may be captured in the most popular YouTube video featuring a missing person. Mittank's story begins in Golden Sands, Bulgaria on July the 6th, 2014. He had spent the week vacationing at the seaside resort with a group of friends. On this day, after arguing over soccer, Mittank got into an altercation with four men resulting in a ruptured eardrum and possible concussion. Due to the injury, a doctor advised him not to fly and prescribed him the antibiotic Cefiroxim before referring him to a hospital. Although his friends said they would stay with him, Mitank insisted that he was fine and they could return home without him. A friend later stated he seemed to be in a good mood when they left. His friends went on their way and Mitank checked himself into a cheap hotel, called Hotel Colour. He was only on his own a day before his strange behaviour was captured on the hotel's security cameras. The footage revealed him pacing the halls and hiding in an elevator. He quickly became paranoid, and in a panicked call home to his mother, he whispered that four men were coming to kill him. He then advised her to cancel his credit cards. CCTV last captured Mitank in Varna Airport. The video shows him entering the airport with his luggage before walking out of sight. Shortly after, Mitank is seen again, leaving his luggage behind. He is seen sprinting through the airport as if he is running for his life. He pushes through the doors of the airport and continues to run through the parking lot. The last shots of Mitank show him scaling a fence close to a wooded area. Airport doctor Kosta Kostkov later described Mitank as nervous and erratic. He claimed Mitank began to tremble when seeing a construction worker and was noted saying, I don't want to die here, I have to get out of here. His belongings, including a backpack and suitcase, were later recovered at the airport. Its contents revealed nothing about his disappearance, however. Mitank was never seen again. But what do you make of these mysterious disappearances and events? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.